Hey everyone, how's it going? Uh, I've got a quick Mac tutorial for you right here, and I'll, I'll talk about what I'm going to do first. So, one of my friends saw that my dock is over here in the right-hand corner of the screen, and you can't do that natively in Mac OS X, Mountain Lion, or any of the previous generations of Mac OS X. Uh, they don't allow you to do that. You can have it in the center, you can have it on the physical right side of the screen or the physical left side of the screen, but you can't have it in the bottom left or right. Um, he's wondering how you, how I do that. Also, my dock is set up so that only the applications that are running show, and that's how it usually is. I don't have anything that sits in my dock constantly except for Launchpad, Finder, my downloads, and my trash because I like those there. None of the other applications are here when the applications are not running. Anyway, enough about that. Uh, let me show you how to move the dock over to the right and left hand side of the bottom right and left hand side of the screen. Um, so first thing you want to do is go to your internet browser and load up uh, a Google search and search for Tinker Tool. Tinker Tool. Uh, it's two words. And what Tinker Tool does is it allows you to change a whole bunch of things in your operating system. And I'll go back here. As you can see, it is, in fact, the first thing that comes up. Click on it and go to Downloads tab right here. And you can see the download option is right there. And you just click on it. So I have the download. I already have this downloaded, so I'm not going to worry about downloading it again. It's a very small file. It should go rather quickly. But what I'll do is I'll go ahead and here is the Tinker Tool application. It actually looks very similar to the system preferences. It just got a wrench in here because you're tinkering with it, I guess. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and launch that. My computer's going to be a little bit slow. I'm doing a screen recording and I'm exporting my video that I just finished editing. Um, so it's just going to be a little bit slow. But um, essentially how you get it to change is you go down here to the bottom in the dock tab. You go down to the bottom and as you can see this is how it would be normally uh, when you have your Mac set up. However, I don't like that. I like it in the corner and you can either put it using the start position in the left corner or in the end position in this corner. Um, and that's really simple. But let's take a minute to look at Tinker Tool, the application itself. It gives you a myriad of customization options for Mac OS X, Mountain Lion, or Lion, or Snow Leopard, or Leopard. They work on all of those operating systems, depending on how old your system is. They give you a whole bunch of customization options, and they're all awesome. I don't have many of them to them enabled, but the ones that I do have enabled are awesome. I mean, you can do, like, change... You can change the fonts that your system uses, for example, but uh, like you could change it to Comic Sans. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you could. Uh, but you can change that. You can change the font smoothing, and you can just do a whole bunch of stuff. The best feature about Tinker Tool is the ability to restore to defaults. I know for me, I'll screw around with something and end up not liking it and forget how I changed it. So the best thing for me to do is, if I have to do something, restore to defaults, and that's how it works. Anyway guys, it's been my quick Mac tip for today. Uh, I appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. I'll see you again next time. Goodbye guys.